So we're going to discuss how to determine the center and radius of a circle given the equation in standard form given by x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square where h and k are the coordinates of the center. And R square is the radius multiplied by itself. Now, we have some examples here of the equation of a circle in standard form. And let us get the center and radius of its given. But before we start, let me remind you that when the given binomial is separated by a minus sign. It just means that our coordinate is a positive number. And when a binomial is separated by a plus sign, the coordinate is a negative number. Or in short, the coordinate of the center should be opposite the sign of the given binomial. Because if you're going to take a look at the given standard form of the circle, the minus sign, the minus sign is already given. So let's have the number one given. X minus three squared plus Y minus two squared is equal to 16. As you can see, our binomials, they are separated by a minus sign. Therefore, the coordinates of the center are both positives. So we have 3 and we have 2. And how about our radius? So the given is 16. So this is r squared. So to get the radius, we have to get the square root of 16. And what is the square root of 16? Okay, it is 4. For number 2, x plus 4 squared plus y plus 5 squared is equal to 25. So both the binomials are separated by a plus sign. Therefore, the coordinates of the circle are both negatives. So we have negative 4. And negative 5. Because if we're going to simplify, say, x minus negative 4, this would mean that we have x plus 4. And if we have y minus negative 5, this simply means that we have y plus Five. Okay. How about number three? X plus six squared plus y minus three squared is equal to one fourth. We have plus sign here, so we have negative six. Then for here we have positive three. And our radius is so Take the square root of one fourth, the square root of one fourth, square root. So we have the square root of one is one, square root of four is two, therefore, the radius is one half. Ah. Ah, by the way, we forgot the radius of number two. So the given is 25, therefore, the square root of 25 is. Okay. okay, let's proceed to number 4. So, x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. So, for number 4, obviously, you don't see any binomial being squared. Thus, this simply means that both the coordinates are zeros. Okay, so we have 0 zero coordinates and how about our radius square root of 36 
is 6. For number 5, we do not have binomial being squared in x. Therefore, we have 0x coordinate. And for y coordinate, we have 2. Then, 10, get the square root of 10. So, obviously, our given is not a perfect square. Therefore, the radical sign will remain. So, that is square root of 10. How about for number 6? x minus 6 squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So, for the x coordinate, we have 6. Then, for y coordinate, since we don't have binomial being squared, then the k value will be 0. Then our radius, so the given is 9, square root of 9 is 3.